Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and the World Tournament is up, and I sorta... I don't know, I knew there was a World Tournament coming up, but I just was not prepared, I guess. And as you guys can see, this is like the lowest I've ever been in a World Tournament, like 8 hours in or whatever, so... I mean, it's okay, because my patience with the World Tournament has completely run dry at this point. So, all I'm really looking for... Um, is to come in, I would say, you know, just top, um, top 2,000 is what I'm looking for. Um, because <clears throat> by being top 2,000, uh, I will be able to get the rainbow for the World Tournament Award card, which, of course, this time is that Saiyan Saga Kid Gohan. Um, obviously, because, you know, the Saiyan Saga is just so bare bones. Um, any, like, uh, potential units I could get for the Saiyan Saga or anything like that, I do want to get and make sure I have them rainbowed as well. Uh, it's also another world tournament where we could see if we can finally get that last copy of LR Piccolo. Um, you know, a good two years have gone by where I've been trying to get that final LR Piccolo. We'll see if we can do it finally. Um, okay, so if you guys are familiar, um, I have gone on and on and on about how the best unit for the world tournament is LR Vegeta and Nappa. Um, what I've found is that LR Vegeta and Nappa is the only unit that will consistently wipe out the enemy field 100% of the time. Um, LR STR Broly does not do it 100% of the time. Dragon Ball Super Broly does not do it 100% of the time. LR Krillin does not do it 100% of the time. Uh, EZ Raditz does not do it 100% of the time. There is one unit, and only one, who every single time will completely wipe out the field, and that is Vegeta and Nappa. However, um, that was before... Uh, Tech Majin Vegeta got his EZA. Now, I this is literally the first run I'm doing where I'm using my actual team because they, they always have these little missions, right, to beat the World Tournament with certain types of categories. And, you know, it gives you a, a couple of the extra Awakening medals, right? For this World Tournament, it was um, Terrifying Conquerors, Otherworld Warriors, and um, World Tournament was the last one. So I just got done, you know, like I used like sort of a jank team while, you know, climbing, climbing up the ranks for the first time anyway. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, here, we'll do this. Because, remember, Vegeta and Nappa are like... Uh, um, LR, STR, Broly, and that you want you have to get the 12-key super attack with them uh, in order for them to actually do their AoE. Because if you get the 18-key super attack, it's just a, a single target hit, and that does you no good, right? So, basically... Uh, the whole point of a lot of the stuff I'm saying, that is not the Majin Vegeta I'm talking about, by the way. That's just one of the, like, friend... Like, the, the AI just randomly tosses, like, some trash, like, sort of, like, friend on there. Um, what we're looking for is if anyone is actually going to use uh, Tech Majin Vegeta's EZA. Because this is the first world tournament where uh, Majin Vegeta's EZA can be running rampant. Actually, I did not do... I didn't do a video on Tech Majin Vegeta in the World Tournament. Yeah, because this is his first World Tournament where he's actually around. Yeah, because I think uh, the Tech Majin Vegeta, he actually came out. His EZA came out after the last World... Like, like, we knew about it before the World Tournament, but he didn't actually come out until after that last World Tournament in August of this year. So, uh, I'll probably do a video, uh, maybe later today or tomorrow or something like that, uh, going over... Uh, how good our boy um, Tech Majin Vegeta is going to be in the World Tournament. But, like, if no one is running him, which, I mean, so far I'm not seeing anyone running him, uh, Vegeta and Nappa are still going to be the go-to. Because, again, right now, they're the only unit I've ever seen that 100% of the time clears out the enemy field. And the reason, I mean, <clears throat> I explain this, and I get a lot of pushback. You know, people talk about Krillin, how good Krillin is and shit like that. Krillin is great, but the problem with Krillin is that there's a lot of STR enemies you're going to run into. STR Majin Vegeta, STR Fat Boo, STR LR Broly, Cooler. Like, these are units that, like, a lot of people are running. And just as we're going through right here, you guys can see people are running those types of units, right? Um, then, of course, you know, like, uh, the STR units are good, but there are a number of strong AGL units you'll see here and there as well, right? Whereas the only tech unit... That, like, people run in the meta. Well, I mean, I'm not seeing any Majin Vegeta so far, but it would be Majin Vegeta. Because, like, Jacko does not count. Like, like Jacko and Chaozu don't count because they get instantly one-shotted anyway. Because they're not they're not URs. They're only SSRs. So, they, they get instantly killed anyway. It doesn't matter, right? 
like like that they're actually like that that, that Jacko is a tech unit. This is a wonky team here. Okay, Ginyu? What? Or, what? Okay, whatever. I, the other thing too I've found is that maybe it's just my strategy with using Jacko and Chelsu, but like when you have them on the team, you know this is what you encounter right here is. Like, you know, people aren't exactly using, like, the greatest teams, I guess. Because it, it does... It, it is sort of, like, who you fight is built by your team cost, right? So, like, if you have a full team of LRs, your team cost would be so high that you would only be fighting, like, other opponents who sort of have, like, that same sort of, uh, like, team cost level. That's that's how they determine, like, who you're fighting in the World Tournament and stuff like that. So, when you're running Jacko and Chaozu you're typically fighting other players who are also running Jacko and Chaozu. At least that's what I've, in my experience, running the World Tournament, right? Uh, let's keep going, though. But this this setup works great for me. I've had no issues with this setup right here. Because, um, you know, Cooler, if he's on rotation with, uh, let's see. It's only Vegeta and Nappa are getting the buff from Cooler. Because, remember, in, in, when there's multiple enemies, Cooler is only buffing Terrifying Conquerors. So, only Vegeta and Nappa are actually getting the buff from Cooler. Um, and then uh, <clears throat> a unit like Dragon Ball Super Broly is not going to get the buff or LR Cell or anything like that. But, I mean, we're good. Boom. There you go. Uh, you get Vegeta and Nappa right there at the start. And then that's GG. That's it. See you later. See you later, friends. Uh, we'll, we'll hop in. We'll do one more run and we'll see, um, again, if people are going to use Tech Majin Vegeta. Again, if Tech Majin Vegeta is up. Actually, that LR Cell. I, that's so weird. Why would someone run. I, like that, okay. I, like I, I wouldn't exactly consider that first form cell a meta unit. That doesn't even make sense. That that, <laughs> that cell was on the team like that. I imagine if this was thirty times difficulty that we were on, um, at that point uh, that cell would have survived. But then Dragon Ball Super Broly in the second slot would have finished them off. But that's just utterly bizarre, right? It's very very strange. Like, like, sometimes you see people just sort of do that, and it, like, it's just odd. Because, like, that Cell has virtually no value in the World Tournament whatsoever. He does nothing for you. That that first form uh, Tech Cell. Like, if, if you're running him in World Tournament, like, it, it's... He's literally not doing anything for you. Um, here, let me head over here. Because the thing about World Tournament is you don't want to have a situation where... You have two enemies just, like, constantly, like, butting heads with each other and hitting each other back and forth. Because that really slows you down. Like, speed, of course, is a big thing. I mean, I don't know. Like, like what my strategies, the strategies I give are if you're trying to place, like, high. Like, I don't know, like, top 5,000 or something like that. Like, if you're just doing the missions, you know, whatever, just knock the missions out. The rewards for the World Tournament are seriously good, by the way. Um, I absolutely recommend... That everyone should do all the missions, but then probably stop there. I mean, there's... The World Tournament cards, some of them are good, but, like... Uh, the new ones, they're not that good, I think, to where it's like you must get them. What's better is the Awakenings. Like, the older World Tournament cards get Awakenings. They are insane, right? Like, you look at, like, how ridiculous High School Gohan is. High School Gohan is, like, one of my favorite units in the game, like... You know, I used him in, like, so many no-item Super Battle Road runs and stuff like that. Like, High School Gohan is just crazy with the damage reduction, the support, the stun chance, like, the solid link set. Like, he's really, really good, right? So, you know, there are good World Tournament units. The AGL base form Vegito is pretty good. Um, then, of course, like, very soon, we're going to have units like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the, the tech perfect cell is going to get his awakening and that's going to probably be insane um and then we're also going to see uh the uh super saiyan 2 great saiyan man get uh an awakening probably so the next world tournament i'm pretty sure is the tech perfect cell and then i think the super saiyan 2 great saiyan man is the world tournament after that so like those two are going to be ridiculous support type units right that cell is going to be insane uh, the only thing is, of course, that Cell has the same name as LR Int Cell. That's the only thing. And, like, that LR Int Cell is, like, far, by far and away the best Cell unit in the game. So that is going to be a little bit of a, uh, you know, unfortunate part. Uh, one thing that is good is we are climbing the ranks quickly. Looks like, you know, again, I'm, I'm just trying to get top 2,000. And I'm barreling through this so fast that it looks like we are going to get there. Um, 
fairly comfortably. Uh, again, I, I sort of, like, I woke up and I was like, oh, the world tournament is today. Like, I've never done this before where I just was not ready. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, whatever. It's just like world tournament. Like, you can only, you can only do this mode for an entire weekend so many times. It's like, seriously, dude, this is what, like the 35th or something? Or, uh, like, it's like, uh, enough is enough, Don. <laughs> Can we get the revamp, please? Pretty please? <laughs> I think it's time. It's time for the revamp, man. For real. I mean, they gotta. They have got to be working on the revamp. I don't know. Like, the turnout of power happened. Like, literally, as soon as the turnout of power was going on in the anime, we're like, oh, let's, you know, make the world tournament similar somehow. Still no Tech Majin Vegeta, huh? You know what I'm thinking of? Tech Majin, I, I've, I've found that it seems like a lot of people don't actually even do that hero and villain extermination uh, extreme Z area. Because again, like, if you didn't already have, like, all those units awakened from, like, years ago and stuff like that, it is a pretty big pain in the ass to awaken all of them, right? Uh, but, like, some of those those EZAs in there are very good. Fat Boo, Majin Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 2 Gokus are all very, very good, so... You know, I, I, maybe that's one reason why people are not running Tech Mon I Like, I thought Tech Manjo Vegeta was going to be very common in the World Tournament because, um, yeah, that's not. Any, uh, I thought Tech Manjo Vegeta was going to be very common. Oh, there he is! Finally, okay, okay, we, we actually did run into a Tech Manjo Vegeta. Exactly, because you could put him on a team there with like Raditz and Second Form Frieza and stuff like that. You have a lot of sort of like free to play options. Wait a minute, but his leader is Cell. Yeah, see, I, okay, so I assume that Vegeta and Nappa potentially could have one-shotted that Majin Vegeta then. Because, I mean, he's running it on the team of Cell, so that Majin Vegeta is not getting any leader skill whatsoever. He's getting nothing. Zero percent from the leader skill. Because Cell is a physical type leader, so. Yeah, I, see, I don't know. And that's that's also the issue with Int Raditz, by the way. His uh, EZA, because Int Raditz is fairly solid for World Tournament. Like, I found Int Raditz to be good enough to get the job done after his EZA. But the only problem is that there's a lot of physical type enemies, right? That, that That's the thing. Like, how good a unit is in the World Tournament more or less boils down more so to how often they're fighting type disadvantage than anything, right? And that's the thing. Vegeta and Nappa... You're, there's just so few tech enemies that you see. There's that cell again. That's so bizarre. Like, look at this team. Like, why the hell would you run Kale? I don't understand. Kale? And, like, full power Frieza? Why? What? <laughs> I, I just don't... I don't know. That's, that's very weird. It's a very weird squad our boy is running here. Very odd. Because, like, I don't know. Like, why would you bring units to, to the World Tournament team that don't provide any value? Right? Like, Cell's not doing anything. He's not a support. He's not an AoE. I just don't get it. All right. Well, there we go. There's a run through the World Tournament. I'll get all the missions done. We'll get some tickets. We'll do a summon video for LR Piccolo. Will I finally rainbow LR Piccolo this world tournament? We shall see. You know, only the worst LR in the game. Maybe this is going to finally be the tournament where I get him rainbowed. We'll see. We'll see. 